Good morning. So, um, today, I can't even remember what I did yesterday. Oh yeah, kind of finished the, um, the basics for uh, this kind of search and paste functionality and then the edit of a snippet. Um, so we're kind of at crossroads, I think, that's right, um, whereby we need to decide what to do um, with the kind of dual nature of the window. Um, so let's fire up, let's fire up and uh, have a play. So Wales dev, and then we'll, um, we'll decide what to do. Oh, that's not going to work very well because there's no daemon yet. I'll do that in a sec. Ah, that's going to show a bug we've got as well. I should fix that first. <clears throat> I've um, done a big refresh of my machine last night, so it's going to take a while to rebuild all things and stuff. So, right, yeah, so the daemon's not running, so best do that. Um, let's do make clean, make, hopefully, snippet D. And the bug will be that even though when, once this is up and running, um, it's not going to find any snippets um, instantly. It's not going to kind of refresh itself. So I probably should sort that out, I think. Yeah, so that's it up and running. But once that recognizes it doesn't go and say, hey, refresh. Um, I should fix that, I think. Yeah, let's have a go at that. So um, let's throw that onto Workspace 5. To the corner. Let's have a look at um, that one. So, oh, it's not wanted. That. Okay. We kind of need some sort of indicator here, don't we? We need to know. Or we need to tell it to go run this search again. Yeah. So hmm. So we are actually thinking about it.
We've got different things going on here. We've got a list of snippets, which is the full set. And get all snippets. But in the list snippet screen, we're using a different set. We're using We're using the same get snippets. Well, we're using get snippets, but with search criteria and saying order by the last used. Hmm, this is going to be tricky actually. For if so, what I was going to do today was start the separation of when you just look at the main window and you want to manage your snippets um, and the, op the other op option is when you want to just quickly select um, a snippet and paste it and they're kind of two different modes I was going to put the window into um, but that's a little bit difficult at the moment I would have to do something about setting whether we use this here because I still want the search to work. But I quite often will want it to be false on whether we use um, arg2 here, which is, if I go into app, it'll be easier to see. Um, get snippets, order by last used, which is what you want when you're doing the search and paste, but not when you're doing the kind of just manage snippets window. So I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to pass that in. So let's do that then. Um, okay. Pass that in, and then in here, decision time. Do we make this a store so that we can just set it globally, say that we're in this mode? Or might we want to switch it more locally? I think locally. So let's export this then from the list snippet screen. Where, which is where we're going to do any kind of search. Let's export it. So I do export let order by last used equal. Well, we're going to use the default. Let's say false by default because I think that's the 
That is the default anyway, isn't it? A, a guess, because I'm not... Yeah, I think so. Um, and then... We will need to... Every search, so let's just make sure we get them all here. We will need to pass in order by last used. And this is the active one that should be refreshing, but isn't at the moment. Hmm. I think what I was going to do there was do some sort of um, activity monitor there check and see whether the daemon's back up and just like force in a refresh a search But as it's so fundamental whether the daemon's gone away or not, I might just have a different um, screen. Hmm. Okay. So, pass the search. Have we got any more search usage? No. Okay. So, theory. I'm now going to get a list in alphabetical order. Just kind of all the case, always the case at the moment because I haven't <laughs> implemented the uh, monitoring the last used actually. Um, so I, yeah, I need to do that. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to test that. Um, and then we've got um, hmm. Maybe I'll just carry on with this, and then I'll switch in a. Um, a different mode for when it goes away, when the daemon goes away. Let's carry on with this for the moment. Let's do this last used thing. Get that sorted because that's fundamental to how how we're even going to know that we're in the right mode as well. Okay, so there's another thing we need to do here. This um, snippets list. Um, when we are in a mode where we just want to manage the snippets, we don't want this shortcut. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. It's the shortcut is for, hey, give me the last one I used, number one, and that kind of stuff. So I need to m turn that off. Um, let me just check what I just got pinged for. Okay. 
Okay. I might get disturbed by a delivery soon. Oops. So. Just, uh, I think I should actually close off that thing there. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, I'd left my email open. Um, Yeah, okay, let's do that then. So we're going to need some indicator at the top level. Somehow that we are in search and paste mode. And then we're going to do the thing. So How do we do that? So somehow we need to get an argument from here to tell the front end which mode we're in. Okay, so does Wales have built-in argument passing? Because he don't know. Right, CLI is the builder. Options. So we've got lots of options. Uh, so there's, but that is setup of the window basically. And then the app. Not menus. Project config. I don't. It's not going to be it. So let's look at the guides. Hmm. Okay. 
That might be interesting. Hmm. Well, I'll come back to that at some point. Um, okay. So I could potentially, on startup, set up an event listener and then in the window say, hey, what mode am I running in? And then I say, oh, you're just doing search and paste. Could do that. So that's one way I could do it. And then binding methods. I could just have a bind method as well, which just says, yep, uh, you're running in search and paste mode. Which would be quite handy, actually, because I can call that from anywhere. That effectively is a global. So in the main, so in the search window, I could just say, what mode am I in? What in it? Without having to pass it to the application. So the only thing then is just monitoring Rams at the beginning. So yeah, don't think see I've not done events yet. It's another way I could have done the kind of the search stuff and whatever as well. I could have said, um, you know, listen to like search prams changing, go do a search and then, you know, trip, fire off another event to say, here's a new data set. I could have done that, but I went for the just call it when I need it type thing because um, spell is all very event driven anyway. But, okay, right, we've got a log stuff window. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there that I could use just now. Okay. I think then I might do let's just use the same setup that I used in the client in the CLI. So in the main, in the client, so the CLI version, uh, I am using oh, it's not there's in the config, isn't it? Uh, 
I'm using this P flag library to pass the params. So I maybe should do that. Okay. Right. So I'm going to come back to that in a sec. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, hard code uh, and then I'm going to switch that in on the command line once I've got it working. So um, let's go. Here now in new app. Set up this stuff here. I could just put a boolean on there. I could just say search and paste. Um, but am I going to have lots of other params come into this? I'm not really. Not yet, anyway. I could always change it later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is on the app. I'm going to hold a little bit of config. In this case, I'm just going to have search and paste. Um, and that's just going to be a bool. This gets me when it does that. Um, Maybe I should like kill it off for a second. Um, and then so that'll be false by default, which is a good test for the moment because what I want to do. is all right i'll stay here and i will do just a function here um funk search and paste And we just return a bool. And we just return search and paste. Quick and dirty. But that should be enough. So by default, it's going to be false, and then we're going to do some params checking later to switch that. Although I'll probably, yeah, uh, in a minute, muck about here to test the stuff. 
but we'll do that. Um, and then we need to like clean up some of this. Let's get rid of some of these things. Don't need that. Um, no longer need to muck about with that. Come back to that. They can stay. I'll give it a that. Just clean it up. Um, okay. I'm good there. So I want to make sure that this knows about it. What should we call this mode? Um, so what I'm going to be doing in here is um, turning off bits and bobs in the snippets list. Hmm. So at the moment, I'm showing the shortcut here. Purely based on the index. And I kind of want to just hide it. So let's just do that. Um, not show a shortcut by default. And then we're just, if show shortcut, we'll show it. This is a different kind of shortcut button. It doesn't actually do anything. It's just, it's just the way I've named it. Um, it's basically that button uh, that shows the abbreviation in this case. I'm just reusing the same styling effectively. Um, so that's good there. Hopefully. And then in the list of snippets, uh, on init, so I don't want to keep whacking the back end. Um, Uh, 
I will pass it down actually because this is, this is a list component. Export let show cuts equals false. Bit of a shame, isn't it? I'm going to rename that. I'm going to call it um. Select mode. Not a great name, but I can always change it. The reason being is that I'm going to also be doing things like putting a edit. Um, icon in, in here and stuff and that'll be for the same reason it'd be, it'd be like if we're not in select mode show and edit um and i also want to cheat a little bit so in here i can do that and then down in the html i can Simply do I'll just stick at the end here. Actually, no, I won't. I'll do it here. Select mode. And that's just a don't have to do a full like equals and stuff here, or like I do here. So I'm just doing a short form. So that should be okay. Let's get my else dev up. Um, that should, in theory, mean we don't have the shortcuts anymore. Yay. Good. Okay. But they would actually work. So if I were to hit number three now that I'm back on the list it does its thing um so let's update this then If select mode select mode so only the, so the end key I might duplicate this later but if I am in select mode and I hit the end key or a number then I do the handle item activation. Uh, the other stuff is navigation. And then let's put some stuff here
navigation stuff. Item selection. Item. And here we want, if not select mode, and blah, blah, blah. You can do that. You can do a right arrow and edit the item. It's been a little bit restrictive. Okay. Let's see what that's, oops, what that does. So we're in select, uh, non-select mode now. So if I come down and I hit enter, nothing happens. If I hit three, nothing happens. If I hit the right arrow, we get the edit screen, which is cool. And I don't have the thing there, but that's fine. All right, get there then. Okay, so we're slowly getting to the point where we have a, a working main screen here. Uh, let's test if it's, uh, we'll do this, we'll do, I'm just going to break it for a sec. So search and paste equals true. Um, and now we'll just run it again. on all the things. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not calling it. <laughs> uh, that would help. Um, so in, where are we going to do that? We need to do that in this screen. I think, and then pass the information down into select mode there. So on startup, I will simply do const because we don't want it to change. Um, Oops, select mode equals search and paste. I could stick it into a global store, but I think this is okay. That would give me the ability to maybe switch things around on the fly if I want to. I can't imagine that being the thing, but. Hmm. But. We'll see. Right, now, in theory, oh, I haven't passed it on, so it's not going to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So when we open the list here, we want to go select mode. Okay, right. We will get there. I'm going to have to finish up soon. 
Yeah, so we're probably not going to get this finished. There we go. So we've got the uh, select items now. We'll just close that off from behind. Um, this is going to make a mess of what's in my IDE, but I'm going to test it out anyway. So um, I can do... I hit enter on this now. Yeah, there you go. Let's paste it in. So that's good. And then let's do the same again. And I will just hit number six instead. Well, actually, let's do something different to make sure it's different. Uh, let's do number nine, last one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with select mode, we also want to do a different type of search. So these search results uh, kind of need to change. And it's as simple as hmm. do I want to make that? So I could just get rid of that order by last used. I suppose it could be useful to have both options. Maybe someone doesn't want to ever Maybe someone always wants it searched by. Yeah, you can imagine that someone might want it to always have order by last use. That could be a preference that we expose at some point. Maybe. So let's change this up a little bit. Going to keep on passing it down. And then in the main window, isn't it? Yep. I don't even know where that's used. Oh, right, if we have snippets, okay. Huh, okay, yeah, we do need to do that. Um, so we will do const, because we might as well. Um, select mode equals 
search and paste. That reminds me, I need to take Oh, it's already come out. Don't have it hanging around up here as well, do I? No. Oh. It's cleaned it up. It's taken out the uh, search and paste there. That's good. Uh, yeah, so uh, select mode is search and paste, and I'm also going to do um, order by last used is equal to select mode just for funsies, and then in here. Pass in select mode and order by as options instead of doing it in the select list itself. So they're passed in here and then used here. The order by last used is used in any kind of search. which is restarted whenever this stuff changes here. So that's good. Okay, we're good, we're good, I think. So main screen. Okay. Let's give it a quick go. So we should be in select list. Ooh. Interesting. Cannot unmarshal object and a go value of type boo. What? Shall I again? What is that? Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay. Right. We have a promise. So need to do a bit of a sneaky here.
we will do this instead. And we'll do an unmount. Oops. Hey, auto complete and do the thing for me. Thank you. Yes. Um, and we will do in here an async function. And we'll go select mode is equal to search and paste. And for the time being, order by it's also equal to select mode. Okay, so it's basically just delaying it. Um, and then I can do this. Because I'm pretty sure I can't do a oh, wait. Let me just check that. Can I do that? That would be interesting. Let me just check. Just take that out for a second. I would be really surprised if this works. I wouldn't have expected to be able to do an away on the script. I would have thought I'd have to make it a function, but I've not tried that in Svelte before. I think I think I've always had it in a function. Yeah, it's gone bang, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Very snuff. Didn't think that would work. Okay. There we go. Right. So we've got an async anonymous function doing a search check, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully that won't do a little flash. Don't think it will. Didn't notice it. Okay, so we're in um, search mode here, so I select mode, and I can hit that. It destroys the code, and if I switch this back to how it should be, by default, So no changes here. Run it again. Yep, and we're not in select mode anymore and I can't hit it on there. Great, okay, well I've got to go. Um, but, I think I'll commit that for the moment. And then leave a little to do.
Okay. And then to do goes in here. Well, no, it doesn't. Well, actually, it goes here, doesn't it? Hmm. No, it doesn't. I will want to adjust some of this. And so I'm probably going to end up bringing that out and creating it earlier and then adjusting it. So my to-do is going to go here. To-do. Move options struct it to here. To-do. Check args for search and paste. Set up. Search and paste. It's a good point. Yeah, it is. Uh, Etc. That'll do. That's all I need. Okay. All right. That's my to do for the next time. That's what I've got to do. Okay, Bego. Um, so thanks for watching, um, and until next time, take care.